Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And listen, um, I, 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 I think this is the happiest that I've been in a very long time. Um, I'm so happy that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season, what, what, what season 10 is over. Um, I don't think I'll ever review um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta again. Um, yeah, I think I'm over them. You know, I, I now okay. I think I'm. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, okay. I just lied. I'm gonna review Love and Hip Hop that family reunion that's about to come out because I think that's gonna be a complete mess. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna review that, but I think I'm over Love and Hip Hop that now. They're gonna have to do some major changes next year in order for me to be interested and invest my time. Girl, I reviewed every episode, even though girl they could they could have made this. A, a little spin-off season, a little series. A little, I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They could have made it about four episodes. Girl, I don't know. Let's just get into it. Um, press 2.0. What is Press 2.0? What, <laughs> what's Press 1.0? I mean, I don't know. Pre Rashida just opened up her new store. I mean, congratulations. Um, I think that's her third store. She has one here in Houston. Um, or I don't know. I don't know if it's still open or not, but I think it is. But at least she had one here in Houston. Um, then she has those two, I believe, in Atlanta. Uh, the one that's in what? What mall is that? Phipps Plaza? I don't know. And then the one she just opened, Press 2.0, in the Midtown area. Um, I don't know what's the difference. I don't know if they sell designer or I don't know. Um, but again, I guess congratulations to Rashida. Amina, Kai's girlfriend. You know, Kai is, I think, Rashida's and Kurt's son. You know, together. His girlfriend, Amina. The La Helpa was out of order. I don't care what nobody say. Um, while I think that everybody played a part because they definitely were engaging in the BS, right? Um, Amina... Sweetie, you're just a little bit too comfortable. You're just a little bit too comfortable. You're just a little bit too comfortable. Um, girl, you throwing up the middle finger. You banging on Rashida business doors. You acting a complete fool in front of these cameras. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it got started. The part where they started at, again, it could have been Rashida's kids or her daughter or Kirk's or Rashida's stepdaughter that got the party started. I don't know. All I know is the part that they showed was Amina pointing the middle, middle finger and, oh, excuse me, y'all. You're sorry. Um, they showed Amina pointing the middle finger and after that, they got into an argument and, of course, that's Kai's girlfriend. You know, that's probably the first time he ever got a little bit of coochie. So, you know, he gonna act a complete fool. You know, that's his first piece of wop. So, I don't know. It's just, you know, the, the family the, the family didn't fight. You know, it was more so... I mean, they didn't physically fight. They didn't physically fight. They were fighting, just not physically. Um, it just was a whole bunch of chaos and confusion. They finally, you know, escorted Amina off the property... And that was pretty much it. This last episode was pretty much whack. I guess it's no different than the season. Spice, I ain't gonna lie. Spice had me a little bit crunk when she came out with the, <laughs> how did it go? Um, give me an S, 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 give me a P, P, something like that, y'all. So Spice comes out. She has her album release party. Um, the song sounded like it was kind of dope. I was actually thinking about going and um, probably trying to find it. I want to, what's she on her? Uh, oh, it's on her album. I think it's on her. Um, I was gonna say I don't know what. I don't know if it's like an old song, but why was she doing an old song at her album release party? So, anyways, I'm sure it's probably off her new album. Her new album, new album is called Ten. Um, Scrappy. Scrappy asked to meet up with Yandy, Mandisi, Ciara, Bambi, and Mama D. He has like this little interrogation type of thing. You know, it was cute or whatever to try to get to the bottom of the bottom of, I guess, the rumors of Bambi saying that she was gonna divorce him. Um 
<laughs> Girl with Sierra. Sierra actually kind of funny. She be saying funny little stuff. But Sierra said, who said you was trying to take all the money? <laughs> hey, yeah. Come on, but who trying to take all the money? Um... Girl, it was pretty much nothing. You know, at the end of the day, they all made up, um, or they all had an understanding of what was going on. Scrappy and Bambi, they made up. Erica and Safari, they had a conversation. Um, Erica said something like, if you loved us like you loved you, we will work. Girl, I don't think, I don't think Safari is ever going to love anybody more than he loves himself. I think Safari and Erica, they're both fame whores. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Anytime I see somebody cry, I do start to have a little bit of soft spot. So anytime, as much as Erica gets on my last nerve, anytime she cries, like, I do kind of feel like a little sorry for her. Even though it's like, girl, y'all both hopped into this just for some TV shit. I don't care what nobody got to say. Erica and Safari got together because they just wanted a TV wedding. They wanted the lights, camera, action. They should have fucked around and had two two under two. Like she said, two under two with this girl. Girl, you wanted it, you got it. Um, and then at the end, Kirk basically fires every not basically, girl, he fired everybody. Um, he fired all the family members from the uh Frost Bistro. They said it would probably be best this way. That way we can just get back to being a family. And I don't think they really cared. They was like, okay, cool. Well, we'll see. And that was pretty much the end of this season, girl. This was a mess to me. I'm over it. I'm never reviewing. I don't know. I already told you. I'm never reviewing Love and Hip Hop again unless they do some major changes next year. This season was boo, boo. And I think they know it. I don't even think they're having a reunion. Because usually at the end of the episode, they'll show coming up next, the reunion, or however they announce it. They didn't even say anything about a reunion. You know if they don't have a reunion, you know this season was boo-boo. It's almost like, girl, what's the point? Y'all had young baby Tate in the opening credits. Girl, she should have been a friend of the show. Y'all had Amaretta the Great. She was in the opening credits. She should have been a friend of the show, right? I get you want to give these people a chance. But it's also like, girl, you all have to do what's in the best interest of the show. And that's like wasting space. Anyways, girl, it's over. It's done. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.